Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. First of all, if you are new here, I post new book reviews on a wide variety of topics in a wide variety of genres. So if you like following book reviews, then feel free to stick around. Now let's talk about today's book. I am going to be reviewing volume 17 in a series that was recommended to me by a viewer, Kaguya-sama Love is War. A viewer recommended the series. I actually found it later written down on a list of books recommended by a friend. So I had two separate recommendations for this series, but I started reading it this year and I love it. I think the author is very talented and I am really enjoying this series. So I am now in volume 17, quite a ways into the series and I loved volume 17. The series thus far follows two individuals, Shirogane and Shinomiya, who are the student council president and vice president. Both of them are extremely intelligent individuals and are also very competitive individuals and they had a crush on each other. Neither one wanted, be, wanted to be the first one to admit that they were falling in love with the other person because they perceived that as losing. So. They both engaged in these warlike games to get the other person to say something, to slip up, to confess, to make the other person seem weak to lose, to be the first one to confess. Neither wanted to be the first to confess, but someone was going to have to be the first one to confess. Things got a little mixed up partway through the series when Shirogane, the male protagonist, decides to study abroad. He realizes there is a ticking t clock. I almost said ticking time bomb on high school and he wants to be open and honest about his feelings. Basically they wind up confessing to each other and the two individuals are now dating. I'm sure if you're watching a review on volume 17 you are at least a little familiar with the plot up to this point so I am glossing over some other plot details. Volume 17 kind of is a return, or not entirely a return, because things have been funny throughout the series, but this was a laugh out loud volume. I think that there's a real talent in making a reader laugh and laugh so hard that they have to put the volume down and like wipe tears away from their eyes. There's a difference between me thinking, <laughs> that's kind of funny, this is an enjoyable read, I'm having little moments of where I'm <laughs> laughing a little bit and full on laugh out loud need to put the volume down because I am laughing so hard. I'm worried that the neighbors next door are going to be concerned that something is going on because I am laughing so hard, sort of funny. And I think that the author is so talented because he's able to switch between these emotionally hard hitting romantic scenes and the humor and he's able to do both. There's a time and a place for reading serious books about serious topics, for reading books with strong emotional punches, for reading romantic books, and a time and a place for reading humorous books that are just lighthearted and fun. I do think that some authors lean more towards one or the other and there's no reason to think that you're worse for not being able to write one or the other. Some people are better at the emotional hard hitting stuff and they stick with that and they're great authors. Some people just want to do the funny stuff, they're good at that, their talent is making people laugh in the world and they stick to that. But I feel like this author is especially talented because he's able to switch between both. We've had the emotional moments where Kaguya, Shinomiya, and Shir Shirogane are emotionally connecting with each other. The hard-hitting romantic scenes are very well written in my opinion. And he's also able to switch back to these laugh out loud funny moments with equal talent. So this volume was incredibly funny. We have and I do find it hard to explain scenes because they're always funnier to read them, but I found the scenes particularly entertaining where Yu Ishigami is trying to prove his love towards someone. Yu Ishigami is another member of the student council president, and he is trying to get some advice from his fellow friends who advise him to become fit. So he decides to embark on a fitness journey, which is incredibly concerning to Fujiwara, who is an individual of the student council who thinks that they've all joined some weird fitness cult talking about proteins and drinking chicken breast juice for lunch. So yes, fitness can be a little strange at times. And I thought that scene was incredibly funny. Um, also, uh, Kaguya is dating Shirogane. Um, they're both young and Things haven't gotten too physical yet. And Kashiwaga, who's another girl that we know, decides to take Kaguya aside for a little educational video. Um, Kashiwaga has found a DVD in her mom's room that she assumes is going to be educational on some of the things that one may expect as a relationship progresses. She uh, decides to provide this video as an educational means so Kaguya knows what to expect or what she should be doing um, with Shirogane. Well, I think you can kind of piece the pieces together. A DVD that her mo 
mom has hidden in her room that she expects to be um, educational is maybe not exactly an educational <laughs> video, but maybe more of an entertainment sort of adult entertainment sort of video, which is exactly what it is. And Kaguya winds up watching it with her niece and it winds up being a very, very funny and kind of wholesome because they're not, they didn't know what they were getting into. So it, it doesn't feel like bad or weird. It feels more wholesome and funny. I love that part. I was laughing so hard throughout the entire thing. And I thought that was just a really good portrayal from the artist on the, the innocence, the confusion, the attempt at education, all of that together just made the whole scene interesting. On a more serious note, we're seeing in this volume the effects Kaguya's family and the way that being in a family like that impacts the relationship. So Kaguya is from a very well-known international conglomerate Japanese business. And so she's the daughter of very powerful people who have a lot of control in her life. On the outside surface, she appears to have it all. She has the money, she has a personal assistant, she gets driven to school. But all these, all these trappings of wealth are really like a prison, a cage that she has to stay in. She has to act a certain way. Her movements are monitored. So she really can't be open about this relationship because she's not sure how her family would react. Shirogane is from a lower class. I'm using words with this. He has not come from a business family. He's actually in the prestigious academy they attend on a scholarship. So it's kind of like the rich kid versus the scholarship kid. And because her family has such a strong image to maintain, she knows that this may not go over well. And therefore she has to um keep this under wraps which is something she really doesn't want to know i feel like this volume kind of approaches that topic and i think that's going to become more relevant in future volumes and i also think that it's kind of sad that she can't be open about all of this and it's going to bring another dynamic to the story but it also keeps things entertaining from a reader's perspective because it's not like everyone can know even though a lot of people have already guessed that something's going on between shinomiya and shirogane she they can't be open about it which adds a layer of humor and entertainment in some circumstances which is kind of coding over the dark truth that kaguya um kaguya's future is kind of not entirely up to her and by belonging to such a powerful family a lot of her choices that other kids her age get to make is something that she cannot make herself overall i think the story plot has branched out appropriately when the story began or when the series began, I was worried there wasn't going to be enough content to last this far, and I was actually a little concerned that the series was so long, but I think the story has branched appropriately. All the characters feel fleshed out enough to where they should be. I enjoy all the characters. I enjoy a lot of the side characters. The humor and the romance is balanced, and I think the author has a real talent. Volume 17 was a five-star read. I loved it. I'm loving the series. I'm not at all bored with the series, and that is just a great sign, and I I'm so excited to continue this series. If you have any thoughts on the series thus far, please put it in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.